Welcome back, you're with us on Tech Tree, and we're talking about art and tech now. If you're wondering exactly what we're talking about, well, one would think art is art. It's about the artist, and there is no space for technological advances. But why have boundaries? That's the question. Here are some extremely innovative artists who love experimenting with technology. The iPad is brilliant for on-the-go kind of things. If you want um, to sketch out an idea, there's uh, things like brushes, there's OmniSketch, there's a whole set of applications that you can use. A lot of them draw free and all of them are something that you can use to flesh out the basics of an idea. It's a lot of fun. I mean, to be able to just make make a drawing out of nothing by using your fingers on this little square book-sized slate, it, it gives you a lot of freedom in terms of figuring out how to do something um, more complex. It's compact, it's transportable, it has a huge battery life. There's iDo, for example, something that I really enjoy. It allows you to take a, a piece of dough and start creating a character out of it. It's very difficult to carry large quantities of clay and you know stuff like that around. People wonder what the hell you're doing. You can take a photograph and use Photogene or something like that. There's, there's a lot of innovation that you're allowed, but it's within a very small space. I don't know, there's, there's a feeling to charcoal that you can't get with an iPad. I mean, your finger on glass is very different from the scrape of charcoal on rough paper. Um, or the feeling of ink on handmade paper, you know, that kind of thing. If you want to feel the texture of what you're working on, then that kind of haptic technology has not yet arrived on any of these uh, touch-based systems. I'm sure it will. And when it does, it'll be magical. Uh, we've done two things. One is embedding touch screens into a picture and the other are the QR codes. QR codes are like barcodes but they're smarter and uh, you can scan them with any phone, a Blackberry or a Nokia or a Sony Ericsson. And uh, the moment you scan a code of a particular picture, it will take you to the wiki travel page of that destination. So there were two bikers uh, on a salt pan. So first I cloned them out of the picture. So I have one picture of the salt pan without the bikers. Then there's a cutout of the two bikers which have to be fra uh, which have to be moved on two frames on the two iPods. So I put them back and cut out two pictures, put them on the iPods, which you can either manually move around or run it on a slide. We have to do something with touch because at an exhibition you are always told not to touch a picture and you're like okay at this exhibition go touch put your fingerprints all over the place it's fine well i guess we're soon going to see multi-touch walls of art all around us something to look forward to well, that's all we have time for on the show this week, but do send in your tech thoughts to us at techtree at utvmoney.com and send in any questions you have for us as well. 
Also, do remember to join in on the Tech Tree chat on Twitter every Tuesday between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Our Twitter handle is Tech Tree, and you can discuss all the latest news with our Tech Tree team, in particular our lab here. Until then, keep writing, keep watching. Bye for now.